Welcome back to Chris Anderson Comics. Uh, today I'm going to show you a commission I made for a Patreon patron of Metron. Metron is a creation of Jack Kirby, who also created just about every other superhero worth a damn, uh, for his DC New Gods comic. Jack was known for experimenting with many things, including collage, and I always try to push myself on my commissions, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to bring a bit of that sense of fun to the table. My process lately has been to um, work with a blue line pencil uh, in the very beginning of my sketch, and then move on to a regular lead pencil because uh, when I do the light box, I can't see the blue very well behind it, but I can see the lead pencil. My next step was to uh, take the drawing that I did and shrink it down uh, digitally and center it. I don't usually do that step, but uh, for this one, I kind of drew myself into the corner on the original sketch, so I needed to do that. Um, and then I put it on a light box because uh, in the past I would draw right onto the board with a blue line pencil and then um, erase it as much as I could. And while it's cool to kind of see the blue line uh, on a commission. I know I have some on my wall, like one by James Heron here and a couple other ones uh, that have the blue line on it. Sometimes it's cool to just have a real clean piece, so uh, I just started to just light box the initial sketches. That way I don't have to erase any pencil. Um, I'm using a Raphael uh, imitation Kalinsky number one that I just got. I really like it. Uh, right off the bat, I was getting real thin lines when I wanted them and real fat expressive lines when I also wanted them. It's also great for filling in blacks. Uh, when I want to get a finer line uh, or a different feel, I go in with a deleter uh, G pen that I dip. I use a Vortex, a Eon, Eon brand Vortex ink. It's matte and it's like the best ink I've ever used. Uh, it's just super black and super matte and it doesn't uh, kind of separate from the oil from my hands like some inks do. And then I'll go in and I'll touch up with a, um, with a Tombow brush pen as well. I've got a couple of those. Sometimes I'll use the Kiritake brush pens. Um, I've got like, I'll order 50 at a time because I only like them when they keep their tip, and once the tip is starting to get round and more dead, I'll just kind of put them to the side. I won't throw them away because they're useful. You can still use them, but I will definitely, it won't be my primary pen. I have a little piece of tape I put on them and say, That's, this, is, this one's working right now, and then I'll take it off when the tip kind of goes dead. Um, from here, the next step that I did was break out some uh, screen tones and put it over the top of this guy. Uh, I like to put screen tones on my work. I don't always do it. Sometimes I'll do ink washes. Sometimes it doesn't call for anything at all. Sometimes just the black and white works the best for it. Uh, like that recent Skeletor piece that I did, it didn't need any screen tones. It been just would have been just too much. But this one I felt like it needed it. Um, and then after that, I kind of racked my brain as to how to get a collage behind him. If I did it in separate pieces, it would have been a hot mess. It, pieces could always potentially peel up, fall off. I just didn't want that. I wanted one solid piece. So what I did is I found some of the new James Webb images uh, on the internet, high-res ones. I imported them into Procreate on my iPad. Uh, then I would cut out different parts, uh, planets and and nebulae, I guess you'd call them, and uh, piece them together to kind of look like a collage. There was an asteroid. And then um, I put that over the top of the final image that I drew. 
well, let me back up. In Procreate, there's a thing where you can do to uh, pixelate the, the image or make it look like a screen tone, make it turn it into dots. So I did that uh, because if you look on Kirby's originals, you know, they're, the way that it was printed is with, you know, sort of a, a, a dot look to it. So I did that, printed it out, stuck it over the top of it, lightboxed it, and then went in with a X-Acto blade and traced around Metron and the Mobius chair. Uh, I was super nervous about it. I did cut into the page a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then I laid it over the top, and it fit pretty well. The problem, though, the thing that really scared me was once you start gluing this puppy down, there's no moving it, so you have to be right the first time. Luckily, I think I got it right the first time. So I was able to lay that over the top, glue it down, and then have the final image. Where I did not see this other drawing of Metron before I started this, uh, so I was not copying this, even though the the pose is very similar. I guess it's just a kind of an obvious pose for somebody chilling in a chair. But um, this is the image that I <laughs> drew from. I did use reference for it, and uh, you know, if you seen if you could see all the reference images that I have. Every single one of them, I look like a big doofus. But uh, yeah, I always I almost always use reference when I'm doing a commission, unless it's like, you know, that goom image that I did or something. Obviously, I don't look like that. Not that I look like ripped like Metron either. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is how I did this commission. I hope you enjoyed watching this video.